Today on Back of the Pack, we're going to be making craisin broccoli salad, a recipe that answers the question, dessert or coleslaw? We're going to combine five and a half cups of broccoli. Just go ahead and make florets out of that. It's going to take a long time. You're basically going to be doing this until you'd rather be doing something else. But then there's still going to be more broccoli. Just keep going. When you're finished making florets, you're going to need a half a cup of chopped red onion, one cup cooked bacon pieces. I like turkey bacon because it's both flexible and solid. Maybe you think bacon is a generous term for the stuff I'm using. Go ahead and use whatever makes you happy. Add to that a third of a cup sunflower kernels, a half a cup shredded sharp cheddar cheese, sharp, sharp, it's hard to say, sharp cheddar cheese. Got it. The last ingredient we're adding to our salad is one and a half cups of craisins. Give it a shake, give it a stir, transfer it to the glass bowl you should have been using in the first place. When that's all mixed up, it's time to start making our salad dressing. Two finger uh, tablespoons red wine vinegar. Half a teaspoon salt from the shaker, if you're lazy like me. This didn't go as well with the pepper shaker, but I'm no quitter. As soon as the pepper's in, you're ready to combine your ingredients. If you don't have fireworks shooting out like the 4th of July in the Lone Star State, then you are not whisking hard enough. Add that to your salad. Stir. Cover and put in the fridge for at least an hour. And there you have it. The good people at Craisins finally did it. They candied broccoli. They were so preoccupied with whether or not they could that they didn't stop to think if they should. They should. It's, it's pretty good. Um, you might want to strike a better balance between the quarter cup of sugar and the one and a half cups of craisins. I've never gotten an instant stomach ache from broccoli before, so that was a new experience. A little bit of pecans and a handful of actual bacon really helped a lot. Aside from there being way too much sugar, I couldn't taste the cheese or the sunflower seeds at all. You can either leave those out or put them on as a garnish when you're serving. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any suggestions for recipes from backs of packages that you'd like me to try, please leave a comment.